Eccentricity is a number that tells us how much an ellipse is stretched. So whether we have an ellipse of the form x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to 1, which is an ellipse that's stretched side to side, or whether it's in the form x squared over b squared plus y squared over a squared is equal to 1, which is an ellipse stretched up and down. The eccentricity is going to be the number we get when we take c and we divide it by a. So we know that c is the distance from the center to the foci, and previously we would find c using the equation c squared is equal to a squared, the bigger one, minus b squared, the smaller one. And then a is the distance from the center to the vertex along the major axis. And the eccentricity of an ellipse ranges from 0 to 1. So it could be anywhere between 0 and 1. And if it is closer to 0, the closer it is to 0, it's going to look more and more like a perfect circle. And the closer it is to being to 1, it's going to look more and more stretched out. So now that we've got an overview on what eccentricity is, let's go ahead and practice a problem. So here we're asked to find an equation for the ellipse that satisfies the given conditions. The eccentricity is the square root of 3 divided by 2. The foci is on the y-axis, and the length of the major axis is 4. So let's make a sketch. It tells us that the foci is on the y-axis, and if it's on the y-axis, that means that the y-axis is the major, because the foci is always going to be on the major axis. So we know that this is going to be the major axis. And this is going to be the minor axis. And that's going to help us because it says that the length of the major axis is 4. So the total length of the major axis is 4. So that means that if I'm at the center, I go up 2. And I also go down 2. And these are my, this is the vertices of my major axis. So we're going to have 0, 2, and 0, negative 2. And the total distance between the two is 4. Okay, so now we're going to get our eccentricity equation, which is E is equal to C over A. We're given what the eccentricity is. The eccentricity is the square root of 3 over 2. So we know what this is. We're told that the length of the major axis is 4, so we found that a is equal to 2. So we know what this is. So all we have to do is plug it in and solve for c. And then once we get c, we can then find what b is. So let's go ahead and do that. So the eccentricity is the square root of 3 over 2 is equal to c over a, which was, which we found to be 2. We can multiply both sides by 2, which gives us that c is equal to the square root of 3. So now that we know what c and a are, once again we're going to use another equation. We're going to use the equation c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared. We're going to plug C and A into this equation and then solve for B. And once we find B, we can then form our equation. So C is the square root of 3. And we're going to square that. We have 2 squared and then minus our B squared. So this is equal to 3 is equal to 4 minus B squared. We minus 4 from both sides, we get negative 1 is equal to negative b squared. And multiplying both sides by negative 1, we get b squared is equal to 1. And then taking the square root of both sides, we finally get that 
b is equal to 1. All right, so to be able to form our equation, we need to know what a and b are. We found a and we found b. So now we can go ahead and write our equation. We're going to have x squared over something plus y squared over something is equal to 1. And the major axis is the y-axis. So therefore, a is going to go below y. So a is 2, so a squared is going to be 2 squared, which is 4. The minor axis is the x-axis, and we found that b is equal to 1. So b is just going to be a distance of 1 in either direction. And 1 squared is just 1. So this is our equation. We have x squared over 1, so we don't even have to write that fraction there. So we can just rewrite the equation as being x squared plus y squared over 4 is equal to 1. And that's it. This is our equation. Okay, this is for you guys to try on your own. So pause the video and find the equation for this ellipse. Otherwise, the answer is going to be revealed in 5 seconds.